for me it's like a manifestation of a, of an imaginary landscape of a, of a painting I randomly choose to to play around now uh, the, the difference of this uh, show from the from the previous one the paradigmal traps but this time I just want to like forget about everything about the style about identity about the proper way of using uh, colors and techniques I use uh, simple and simple colors more simple shapes is your daughter like uh, drawing with you yeah, actually when I, when I had my daughter now it's, uh, she's painting with me and I, I see the way how she paints like I feel jealous because she's very free yeah and I get the energy from her. I love the feeling of I don't know what I'm doing. And that's the way it should be. Because when I know what I'm doing, I feel bored. I love the experimentation, the accidents, yeah, the, the failures of doing something and it didn't come up well, but it's still beautiful. When I was painting before, I was a fan of like reading a lot of books, like philosophies of art, theories. I was a fan of Heidegger, and then I want to like translate it into visual, you know? the way how I deconstruct the subject, and this is the way how I do the previous works, like doing the deconstruction and reconstructing it. But I I, I had fun, and I love the the way how it it smells. Smell. And, that's sexy for me. And it's worth it because uh, they keep uh, very long to dry. Uh, it's like they, they are alive uh, and they change by themselves. They change yeah, yeah, they crumble sometimes. Colors lose their uh, brilliancy. It depends on the mix of colors. But I love the way uh, how it changes. Because they they have life like human beings. You know? They get old. Yeah. And I love the changes. When we see Mona Lisa, we love the crack. We yeah. love the cracks, seeing the cracks. Yes. We love the changes, and it's part of the history. I mean, the way how it gets old. Like the, it's still flesh. I think you also enjoy the lack of control. But it's like uh, using my muscle memories a lot, more than the mind. And uh, it's like uh, having a struggle of breaking myself. My, my own self, so my identity also, but because I keep on changing a, a, a lot, but sometimes I go back. It's like a process of going back and forth. What's the pattern of the work? I actually forgot the title. This is the first words that that come up like after I finish this painting. I cannot say that this word, this title means that, that means this. So I cannot explain it. And I love the way how this word uh, fits well with the images. When I started like explaining the title and every single detail of my work, it makes me feel more than I, mean, I keep lying to myself. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't want to lie to you that this means like yeah. something God coming from my dream and just want to be there for myself. Honest. I, want to be yeah. honest right? I don't want to please everyone that it's an intelligent work or sophisticated work. I'm just a painter, like I'm just doing a painting. It's like eating breakfast in the morning. Like it's like the way of your life.